Hi, I'm Junaina Noor and today we are going to learn on the ECG and its related cardiac anatomy. During this topic, we are going to learn about the structure of the heart and also the coronary circulation. And then we are going to map the area of the heart by using the ECG. Now we have a look at the cardiac structure first. So this is a model of the heart and I'm holding it in relation to my body. So the heart is located behind the sternum and the apex is pointing towards the anterior chest wall and it is slightly rotated to the left like this. So this will make this area the anterior part of the heart and this is the bottom, the inferior border of the heart and this is the lateral part of the heart. The anterior wall of the heart is made mainly by the right ventricle and also the left ventricle and here in between we have the interventricular septum and then we have here the lateral border of the heart the lateral border of the heart is made by the left ventricle and then we have the bottom part of the heart so when people say from the bottom of my heart they actually referring to the inferior wall of the heart and this inferior wall of the heart is sitting on the diaphragm it is made mainly by the right ventricle and also the left ventricle. However, when we interpret the ECG and we mention the inferior wall of the heart, we are actually referring to the inferior wall of the left ventricle. And now we have the posterior area of the heart. We have the, mainly the atria, right and left atria. And then we have the posterior border of the left ventricle. We also have the great vessel. Now, if you open the heart, now I'm opening my heart, so we can see that the wall of the left ventricle is much thicker than the right ventricle. This is because the left ventricle needs to overcome a very high pressure systemic circulation compared to the right ventricle, which only need to overcome low pressure in the pulmonary circulation.